So I was like, oh my God, wow, this sounds amazing. Amazing. All I cared about was my body fat. But I got a full on report on like everything about like my, not just my subcutaneous fat, my visceral fat and um like the minerals and everything like how heavy my bones was i was like actually this is this is far more interesting than i anticipated and it kind of made me think i'd love to understand a bit more about myself rather than just body fat um and then I guess it just kind of put me on a, on a, on a path of self discovery, trying to understand a bit more about myself. It got me a bit more. I was like, I don't need to train to look a certain way. I could train because I enjoy it. Right. So when people were asking me, Oh, what's, what's your, what's your training plan? I was like, I'm just enjoying myself right now. I want I'm doing whatever I want. And it was brilliant. It felt so great. So, um, you know, in doing that, I was like, I want to understand a bit more about myself. And I think um, I just happened to be personal training in um, one gym called uh, Reebok Sports Club. And um, oh, before then, I actually done a, uh, a, uh, a DEXA scan. I de I've done a DEXA scan because some, uh, what it was, was I I've done a little thing on social media. I said, guess my body fat. And like loads of people was making guesses, but I, I didn't even know what my body fat was. So I was like, okay, I'm going to check it today. And then someone said, oh, how are you going to check it? Are you going to use a uh, skin caliper? I said, yeah, that's right. And they said, yeah, but that's not a gold standard. I was like, well, what is the gold standard? And, they, and uh, someone said um, a uh, DEXA scan. A few, a few people said some other stuff, but then I'd done a little search on a DEXA scan and I thought, oh, this seems really interesting, an actual scan. So I went to a center and um, they said what they, what they will do is take um, an actual scan and they can tell me what my uh, fat-free mass was, my bone density as well, and lean body mass. I was like, oh my God, wow, this sounds amazing. Amazing. All I cared about was my body fat. But I got a full-on report on like everything about like my, not just my subcutaneous fat, my visceral fat and um, like the minerals and everything, like how heavy my bones was. I was like, actually, this is, this is far more interesting than I anticipated. And it kind of made me think I'd love to understand a bit more about myself rather than just body fat, because that was the only thing I understood about. Um, and then after that, I think um, shortly after, after that, a company was introduced to the gym where I was working called uh, DNA Fit, which um, do a, a DNA test. And what they do is they can tell what type of training would be most suited to your genetics. Well, that's, that's the, the concept right. behind what they do. Yep. So they check certain types of genes um, which are most responsible for certain types of things. So they comprise a report and from that they can tell you what type of training, whether you would be more um, higher in power or higher in, in, in endurance and also what type of minerals would be most suited for your um, body type as well or your genetics. I was like, wow, I was, I was blown away. I was so blown away and it made me think, there must be, are there other companies like that out there? And um, yeah, it's, it slowly cascaded from there. I didn't find everything immediately, but then I slowly found out that there was this whole biohacking community. And um, I think it started to move a bit quicker. Once I found out that there was other people who were just as interested in it as me, then it, you know, more information started to come my way. I, I think, um... That, that's a great insight. I think a lot of people when they get testing such as, and I, I always suggest to people go out and get a DEXA scan because it's so much more than a fat test. And, and you, you have the same, almost everybody I know that has actually done a DEXA scan and comes back with the same thing. Like, wow, I can see the, disp the, the proportion of muscle. I see the bones. I see like, there's like all this data. And, and of course, we're all kind of fascinated by ourselves. But here you get this real world stuff. 
that you can now have a benchmark and you can get legitimate information on what you're going to do and what's going to come next and then genetic typing and then nutrient uh, components or deficiencies. I, we have a podcast on podcast number 25 with Dr. Paul Maximus, the five tests that you need to know. And we talk about doing a Dutch test and a spectrocell test and all these different and the DEXA scan and wow. these things that you get this feedback and before that was kind of reserved for, you know, elite athletes and hyper, you know, teams that had a hyper budgets to support these athletes or people who were sick. But nowadays, as individuals, we can now get access to many of these tests. And then we can go off and start doing experiments ourselves with whether it's diet or nutrition or supplements or you know, whatever it happens to be. And, and we can actually start to track and get our own feedback on this. And I found it fascinating. What turned you on to this quote unquote biohacking world? Like, like when you, you kind of made this thing and then it's like, Oh, then I discovered this. Did, did you go to an event? Did you hear a podcast? Like what, what, what got you into this whole biohacking world? I don't know. I, 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 I it's like, I knew something was, there was more to what I understood about the human body. But I was thinking, like, how am I going to find out? I don't want to try and be a doctor. I'm not interested in that. I wasn't great at school. Um, I just want to practically find out stuff, you know? And um, so I would be just experimenting, seeing what type of foods would kind of work for me. Um, I was trying keto before I even knew that that was the name of it. And I found that it was okay for me, but my energy levels was just a bit too low. But um, I think my microbiome has changed over the years. When I do that now, it's easy. My energy levels is high. Um, so how did I cut? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think now. I think it, it's kind of become a bit more, a bit more, um, I would say within the last maybe two or three years, that's where I've met the most people in the whole biohacking field. Um, you know, I had people reach out to me saying, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried that? I think that's the great thing about social media. You know, when, when, when you talk about your experiences with maybe certain type of supplements, they're like, oh, have you tried this supplement? Oh, why is that? Why is that one better? Oh, well, I've read this. And then you, you do your own research on it. But um, biohacking it was just like something totally different. You know, I, I think I, um, I was reading about red light therapy and um, Every time I think about therapy or every time I thought about therapy, I, I saw it as like, I don't know, like when you see a therapist, you know, like when, if you've got issues and you need someone to speak to, I was like, red light therapy. I was like, I was, I was, you know, that's, the first time I thought about red light therapy, I was thinking <laughs> red light district and therapy. What, what are you talking about? Like <laughs> yeah. Sexual therapy? <laughs> you know, I couldn't quite figure it out. Of course. Yeah. It's like, what is this? Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the more I looked into it, I was like, this, this sounds interesting, but how is like light on the skin going to change certain components? And, you know, what's this about like cellular health? Like, you know, it, it, it was, it was all just like baffling to me, but it just made me want to learn a bit more. I was like, if I can strengthen myself on a, on a cellular level, then that's what it's all about. I spent many years trying to build up like, any kind of like cognitive development because when I lived with my dad, he, um, he was a really strict parent, but at the same time he was quite verbally destructive. So, um, I grew up with like really bad self-esteem, although, you know, I, I, I loved fitness. I really didn't believe in myself. So I started listening to a lot of audio books on, on self-development, like, you know, teach yourself how to think and, um, just like, you know, positive mental attitude. And then I started to look into, um, neuro linguistic programming, you know, understanding like human behavior, understanding, you know, someone's responding to me a certain way, really looking into the eyes and, you know, mirroring, matching and mirroring that sort of thing. So I found that pretty f uh, fascinating, but I only done that for my own personal development. And then I realized that when I started to talk to other people about it, not many people did understand that because they didn't spend the time to do that. I guess they didn't feel they needed it. Whereas I desperately felt I needed that. Um, but then I started to think to myself, you know, I've worked so for so long on my brain and 
you know, my, my, just like my mental focus and just keeping a, a clear mind. But I want to know what's going on inside my body. Um, then I, th yeah, I found out about red light therapy and well, what's the other one? Um, molecular hydrogen water, Lo loads of different stuff. Loads of, I can't think off the top of my head how it all started, but I just had lots of companies like reaching out to me the moment I started to talk about my experience about stuff.